السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ الحمد للہ ویلکم ٹو دی کلاس ہاؤ ار یو آل فائن میم ایوری بڈی الحمد للہ سو ڈیڈ یو مینیج ٹو ریوائز وٹ ایور وی ریڈ ان اور لاسٹ کلاس یس میم So what did we read our, in our last class? We read about Surah. Which Surah? Surah Al-Fatiha. Surah Al-Fatiha. So, Alhamdulillah. So we will continue Surah Al-Fatiha. And inshallah, today we will read Surah Al-Fatiha and Surah An-Nas. Okay. And uh, for a few classes, like till 20 Surah, we will read the surah word by word so we will try to understand the meaning of the surah the translation of the surah word by word inshallah so please concentrate in the class again i will explain to you surah al fatiha nicely and uh, then in, uh, you will have to do a quiz and i have uh, made some quizzes already and there will be one quiz for surah al fatiha when you finish that quiz then you will be able to download your certificate for surah al fatiha Like Shaza has completed the tafsir of Surah Al-Fatiha this way. You will be able to... Yes, so those who, those who will uh, complete the quiz, they will get a certificate with that surah. For every surah, you, you will get the certificate when you uh, complete that quiz. Okay, so I will set that quiz on Wednesday. You will be able to give that quiz. And uh, in your classroom, you have certain crossword challenges and you have find the words which you can try and you can... Uh, Uh, like play to learn the vocabulary and to learn the translation have you seen your classroom have you tried any of the quizzes yes ma'am yes, i ma did all yes oh mashallah I... yes so um, uh, also look at your classroom and then uh, try those um, crossword etc and i will also make some uh, good flash cards so it will be easy for you to learn so today let's start our today's class Are you able to see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, so read your ta'awuz and tasmiyah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan al-rajim. Bismillahi al-Rahman al-Rahim. So, alhamdulillah. We are starting, uh, we are uh, reading Surah Al-Fatiha. We already started Surah Al-Fatiha. And there are some points about Surah Al-Fatiha. which we need to know so surah al fatiha is a makkan surah it was revealed in makkah the surah which were revealed in makkah are called makkan surah and the surah which are revealed in madina are called uh, madinian surah you can say okay so surah al fatiha is a makkan surah when you read surah al fatiha shaitan runs away so when someone reads Surah Al-Fatiha, Shaitan runs away. What does Shaitan do? Runs away. Shaitan runs away. Surah Fatiha is a cure. So when you are sick, you can read which surah? Surah Al-Fatiha. Al And Surah Fatiha is a dua for Hidayah. What does Hidayah mean? Guidance. guidance and what does guidance means you are asking allah subhanahu wa taala to show you the correct way of doing things the correct path to be guided to the path of islam to know what should we do uh, what should we do and what should we not do so to as to please allah subhanahu wa taala that is called hidayah hidayah is guidance and here in surah al fatiha we do uh, we pray to allah subhanahu wa taala to guide us to sirat al mustaqim what is sirat al mustaqim guide us to the straight path what is the straight path the straight path is the path of the prophets the shuhada and the salihin 
what who are the prophets you know there are so many there were so many prophets who were sent by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the prophets were guided and we can walk on the we should uh, try to learn about the stories of prophets and try to know how our prophets uh, uh, prophets peace be upon them they lived their lives so the path of prophets where the where the um, was the sirat al mustaqim the path shown by rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is sirat al mustaqim and the past of path of salihin salihin means the pious people those who follow the commands of allah subhanahu wa taala and the shuhada shuhada are the martyrs so they live their life for the sake of allah subhanahu wa taala so in surah al fatiha we ask allah subhanahu wa taala to guide us in the straight path sirat al mustaqim okay so now uh, we have read till ayah 5 again we will revise once more so you remember those who are who have still not uh, learned all the vocabulary and meanings so it's a good uh, time for you all to learn the meaning and translation of surah al fatiha so as you can see i have um, made boxes here for the words which are very important and you can learn them so whenever these words will come in a quran later on you will be able to identify this word so when the word is bismi ba ism ism is for name so what will the word mean bismi means in the name in the name in yes. the name remember bismillah ar rahman ar rahman means the most gracious the most gracious and ar rahim means the most merciful the most merciful so all of you try to speak in the class even you uh, when you participate in the discussion you will remember it always okay so when i ask the question everybody should try to answer so what will be the translation of tasmiya tasmiya is bismillah ar rahman ar rahim so what will be the translation In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the Allah most merciful, the most merciful. Yes. So you can see, I have written the translation as well here. Translation of Alhamd. Hamd. Ha mean that. All What is the translation of Alhamd? All praises and thanks. So I all already taught you all of this in your. Oh, sorry. So it was disconnected, right? So, where till where did you listen me? Till where did you listen? Uh, uh, did you uh, listen the meaning of alhamd? Yes, ma'am. All praises and thanks. Yes. And lilla is for Allah. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. And alamin. What does alamin means? Mom, it is black. Is my voice coming? 
today my network is very slow that's why i got late for the class as well is my voice coming yes the voice is coming and screen yes can you see the screen yes ma'am yes ma'am now i okay. can see okay so translate the uh, aya alhamdulillah rabbil alamin all president thanks uh, all president all thanks to be the lord of all the world alamin and alamin includes the man mankind the jinn and all that exist so these all we already did in our last class so i'm going a bit fast in this okay ar rahman the most gracious ar rahim the most merciful and master of the day of judgment what is yawmiddin what does yawmiddin mean master of the day of judgment no what does yawmiddin means of the day of the judgment Yes, Yawmiddin is the day of judgment. Okay, and Malik is master. Then we say to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, "Iya kana abudu wa iya kana sta'in." You alone we worship, and you alone we ask for help. So this is still where we read in our last class, isn't it? So we read till here, right? In our last class. Yes. Yes. So today we will start from Ihdina Siratul Mustaqim. Guide us to the path which is straight. Siratul Mustaqim means the straight path. What does Siratul Mustaqim means, everyone? The straight path. Siratul Ladina An Amta Alaihim. So Allah Taala is explaining what is the straight path. The path of those. the way of those on whom you have bestowed your grace the path of those with whom you are pleased so we are asking allah subhanahu wa taala to guide us to the straight path the path of those with whom you are pleased we are saying to allah subhanahu wa taala that ya allah guide us to the straight path the, and we are also telling allah subhanahu wa taala that uh, uh, and then if you see the aya which is continued ghayri al maghdubi alayhi wal dhalin okay sirat al ladina an'amta alayhim and we are telling to allah subhanahu wa taala that uh, allah guide us to the path of those on whom you have bestowed your grace and not on the path of those who have earned your anger and who are the people who earn the anger of allah subhanahu wa taala they were those people who knew the truth who knew that allah allah is our god allah taala has created us, us but they did not follow so these people are those with whom allah subhanahu wa taala is angry and we are also asking allah subhanahu wa taala that uh, uh, we uh, all are do not let us on the path of those with whom uh, uh, you are angry or who have gone astray and who are the one who have gone astray they do not follow the truth out of ignorance and error it is written here like this but uh, scholars explain that the um, the people who have earned the anger are those who do not believe in allah subhanahu wa taala they believe in allah subhanahu wa taala but they do not follow it and those who are who have went astray are the christians and for those who have earned the anger it is said it is it is said about the jews they earned the anger of allah subhanahu wa taala and the christians they are those who have went astray because they do not follow the truth so isla uh, so all the prophets were sent for one purpose they were sent to the people so that they recognize allah subhanahu wa taala and they worship allah subhanahu wa taala so the prophets were sent in different times they were sent to the people so first when musa alaihi salam came he guided the people to uh, to allah subhanahu wa taala and when isa alaihi salam came the people should have accepted isa alaihi salam but the jews were they they did not accept prophet isa alaihi salam and they were in their own error ways and uh, when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came all the people uh, should have followed muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
spread allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent uh, the prophet then everyone should follow the, uh, that prophet the prophet came and when rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has come he has come for the whole of humanity now no more prophets will come so all the people of the universe everyone should follow now uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam because he is the prophet who has been sent for all of humanity till the the day of judgment so now no more prophet will come only rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is uh, our prophet and he will be our he will be the prophet for all the people who will come after us have you understood yes ma'am yes ma'am so once again let me uh, do this ayah sirat alladhina an'amta alaihim the path of those on whom you have bestowed your favor Okay, have you understood the path of those whom uh, you have bestowed your favor? Who are they? Who are they? They are the prophets. They are the pious people. Allah Taala is pleased with them. So we are asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to guide us to the straight path, to the path of those people with whom you are pleased. Okay, so we are making a dua to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala when we are reading Surah Al Fatihah. Have you understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Everyone understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So in our last class, I asked you to learn these voc vocabularies. Have you learned the vocabulary? Have you um, revised? What does these words mean? Ma'am, I was not in the first class. Hmm. Then you have to come to the class daily, inshallah. And those who were there, daily means every Saturday. And those who were there, uh, tell me the meaning of alhamd. What does alhamd means? Praise. Praise. Very good. What does sirat means? Come. What does sirat means? Pass. Path. We oui, very good, mashallah. What does hidayah means? Guidance. Guidance. What does ghadab means? Anger. Anger. Anger, very good. What does Al-Ladrina mean? No. Al-Ladrina? Those who? Okay, what does Yong mean? So we did this in last class. Okay. Everybody should revise. Yong means day. Yes, very good. Okay, so now once again, let's revise. Alhamdulillah. Tell me the translation. All praise be Allah. Yes, very good. What does Rabbil Alameen mean? The Lord's words. Yes. What does Ar Rahman mean? The most gracious. Yes, everybody, are you following? What does Ar Rahim mean? Everybody should try to answer. The most merciful. Merciful. Hmm. What does Maliki means? Uh, owner, uh, owner. Owner of the world. Yawmiddin. What does Yawmiddin mean? Uh, day of judgment. Okay. Yes. Then, what does Iyakana Abudu mean? You alone. Na'abudu. What does Na'abudu mean? You alone be welcome. Yeah. Worship. Ain ba dal is for worshipping. Okay. Oh. When you say, ya kana abudu, you say, you alone we worship. What does wa iya kana sta'in mean? You alone ask for uh, And you alone we ask for help. Okay. Iya kana sta'in is you alone we ask for help. Ihdina. What does ihdina mean? Hidaya, Hada and Hada guide. Sirat al Mustaqim means? Us to the straight path. Hmm, guide us to the straight path. Sirat. What does Sirat mean? The path of uh, the path. What does the word Sirat mean? Uh -huh. Wait, path. Yes, we already did that. So is everyone following? Is everyone trying to recall the meaning? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ma okay, what does Alladina means? Those who. Yes, mashallah. 
What does an amta alaihim mean? An amta alaihim. The path of those upon whom you have bestowed your grace. An amta. Okay. The path of those upon whom you have bestowed your grace. Ghayri al-maghdubi. Ghayri means not. Not the path of. Now we are telling. First we have asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the path of those upon whom you have grew, uh, bestowed your grace. With whom you are happy. And then we will say. Ghairi. Ghairi means not. Ghairi means? Not, not those who are not what does Ghairi mean? Ghairi means not. Ghairi al Not of those upon whom is your anger. Alayhim. Waladdalin. And not the path of those who are astray. Understood everyone? Yes. yes ma'am. Okay. Now, what are the lessons you have learned from this surah? Who wants to say? What are the lessons you have learned from surah Al-Fatiha? When we are sick, we can read this surah and we will get better. Yes, mashallah. Surah Fatiha is a little cute. Surah's name means the opening and uh, when you read the shaitan. Oh, oh, come, 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 Maria, come. Yes, and? But the surah's name is the open. The surah's name means the opening, and we read it in surah. And um, shaitan runs over when you read this, and it's also good when you have sickness. It helps. In, um, you know. And this is a very powerful surah when you are asking for guidance from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, right? So whenever you feel like you don't know what to do, read Surah Al Fatiha and ask the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide you. And when you read this surah, what happens? Shaitan runs away. Shaitan runs away. And you are, you are able to make the right decision because then you are asking the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you. So Allah ta'ala will help you. And this is uh, the surah which is most repeated. You read surah al-fatiha in every rakah of your salah, right? Um. Uh, yes, yes, it has the seven most repeated verses. These verses are seven most repeated verses. Everybody reads Surah Al Fatiha in this Salah in all the Rikah Surah Al Fatiha is read. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now will you ab be able to recall the meaning of Surah Al Fatiha whenever you read Surah Al Fatiha? So now when you read Surah Al Fatiha in your Salah, try to Recall the meaning, the translation of Surah Al Fatiha. Now, Surah Al Fatiha is a surah in which you talk to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala repri replies, "My servant will will get what he asks for." Okay. Okay, ma'am. These are the lessons we have learned from this surah, and then we can also make this dua: "Rabbana la tuzir qulubana baada is habaytana wa hablana min ladunka rahma." That our Lord, let not our hearts deviate from the truth after you have guided us and grant us mercy from you. Truly, you are the bestower. So we should keep uh, uh, making dua for guidance. We should keep making dua that, Ya Allah, now that you have guided us, Ya Allah, do not deviate us from this straight path and grant us mercy from you. Truly, you are the bestower. Have you understood this dua? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes. So, inshallah, try to learn this dua. I will also post it in your WhatsApp and um, in your classroom. I'll uh, post this dua and try to learn this dua. And after this class, please revise the translation of Surah Al Fatiha. And whenever you read Surah Al Fatiha, when you read the uh, Surah uh, Ayah of Quran, and try to uh, recall its meaning. So when you are able to do that, you will see that your prayer has become beautiful. You are able to connect to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala because when you read Quran, when you read that, um, the when you are reading Surah Al Fatiha, Allah Taala is listening. Allah Taala is responding. 
so we should read it with that niya and we should always try to um, understand what we are saying okay okay ma'am okay. now we will start surah annas today okay for the last 20 surah this, we, this is the way we are going to do we will be doing word to word for last 20 surah so that when you read the surah in your salah you will be able to understand the meaning are you able to see surah an nas yes, yes. ma'am let me see who are there in class hamna sheza shumana ali Everyone is understanding? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma and Mariam is also understanding. Mariam, are you understanding? Mm -hmm. Yes, she is also understanding. Okay, so we have Surah Al Nas. So look uh, at the boxes. Pull. What does pull mean? Say. 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 Allah is telling that pull. Say. A'udhu. I seek refuge. In with Allah, yes, in the Lord of mankind or with the with Allah, the Lord of my, mankind. So this, you know, this surah, surah An Nas, is uh, one of the surah of protection. It is Muaddatan. It is called Muaddatan, and Muaddatan means there are two surahs, Kul A'udhu Bi Nas and Kul A'udhu Bi Palak, which has been revealed so that we can seek protection from these surah. So Allah Ta'ala has taught us how do we seek uh, um, refuge in the Lord of man. How, we, how do we ask protection from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So Allah Ta'ala has said, Allah Ta'ala has taught us uh, this surah. Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas. See, I seek refuge in the Lord of man. Yes. Okay, and we say Malik Lord. Malik is the king, the king of mankind. Rabb is coming in the Lord of mankind. Malik is king. Malikin Nas, the king of mankind. Ilahin Nas, the god of mankind. Min Sharri, from the evil. Al Waswasa. So, you know what does Waswasa mean? The evil thought which comes in our mind is called Waswasa. What does Waswasa mean? The evil thought that comes in our mind. Yes, the whispers of shaitan. So we are telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, Ya Allah, first of all, we are asking Allah, uh, we are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we, uh, we are saying that uh, Allah ta'ala has taught us this dua, dua. He has said that, say, I seek refuge with Allah, the Lord of mankind, the King of mankind, the God of mankind, from the evil whisperer, of the uh, from the evil whisperer the devil who uh, whispers evil in the heart of men and who withdraws and what does it means by al khannas the one who withdraws it means he comes he whispers in one's heart um, and then he quickly uh, like uh, goes away so he is causing whispers to our heart understood yes ma'am so we are telling allah subhanahu we are making a dua that ya allah grant me protection from the evil of the whisperer the one who withdraws the one who whispers in the breast of mankind alladhi you waswasu waswasa is whispering the evil whispers fi sudurin nas sudurin nas is the breast of mankind min al jinnati wan nas so these evil whispers, whisper can be from the jinn and it can be from the men. The hadith of uh, Abu Hurair radi anhu, he said that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the hellfire is surrounded by all kind of desires and passions, while paradise is surrounded by all kind of disliked and desirable things. What does this mean? It means that, uh, uh, like, for getting paradise. It may be certain things that, that uh, you um, uh, uh, you don't like or it is very hardship for you for you. But when you do that, you will attain paradise. Like 
a song for fasting you have to stay away from food and water from suhoor um, uh, till uh, iftar so these are like a bit tough but uh, what is the result of that what do you get in result of that in result of that you get paradise you get the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala and the hell fire is surrounded by all kind of desires and passion so one feels like that no i am going to do whatever i want and this is my passion to do that so they do not care about what allah subhanahu wa taala will like and what allah what allah taala has forbidden him from he does not cares about that and he keeps on following his desires and passion so it is said that hell fire is surrounded by all kind of desires and passions and paradise is surrounded by all kind of disliked things so um it is also said inordinate desires and animalistic passion lead to fire while self control uh, perseverance chastity and all other virtues and obedience of allah and his messenger leads to paradise so it is said that um, to please allah subhanahu wa taala we have to follow the commands of allah subhanahu wa taala even though it may be like you have to get up for fajr at a, at a time and you have to wake up from your sleep so this may be a bit tough one for you but it will be the things which is uh, uh, which is ple- uh, pleasing to allah subhanahu wa taala and which can get you to pl- paradise and similarly controlling the desire controlling the passion the things which are not liked by allah subhanahu wa taala will also lead to us to paradise on the other hand if someone keeps on following his desire if he keeps on following his passion which is contrary to what allah subhanahu wa taala has said then that is the that is a very bad and evil thing and it will uh, lead a person to hell so now let us read more about this surah have you followed till here yes ma'am yes ma'am okay now let's talk about um, shaitan shaitan he always uh, he, uh, he is uh, he is our enemy allah subhanahu wa taala has said that shaitan is your enemy when uh, allah subhanahu wa taala sent adam al islam to the earth uh, then shaitan told that i will misguide his children and he is always looking so that he attacks the um, bani adam he attacks the men and their children and he wants or he wants to take all of us to hell with him he says that um, i will keep with uh, i will make them do bad things so he, the shaitan keeps on whispering evil on our uh, breast he keeps on whispering and when um, and he withdraws back so he will give an evil thought and then he will withdraw Uh, Sayyidina Anas radiyallahu anha has said that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said that Satan sits on a man's heart with his snout in it and whenever the man remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will withdraw so when someone say a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim so he will withdraw and again he will come so he withdraws and then again he comes to, to attack again he comes to uh, whisper evil thoughts in our heart so what uh, what lesson do we learn from here we learn from this is that we should keep ourselves in the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa taala when we will remember allah subhanahu wa taala shaitan will not be able to uh, uh, like uh, he will not be able to whisper evil thought continuously in our heart so what is the yes. what is the trick of uh, protecting ourselves from shaitan is uh, reading this surah we can read this surah and we can remember our, uh, remember allah subhanahu wa taala whenever we remember allah subhanahu wa taala then shaitan says oh, oh um, i have no place here now yes yes ali you can also read a'udhu billahi minash shaitan nirrajim bismillahir rahmani Yes. Whenever a person does does zikr of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, whenever he learns, uh, whenever he remembers Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, then Shaitan will withdraw. Again, he will come back. So, continuous, we have to be aware that there is a there is an there is an enemy who is always trying to attack me. He is trying to take me away from remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and he will tell me to do bad things. he will tell me he will instigate me to do things which is not liked by allah subhanahu wa taala he will tell me uh, to do sins and you know the sins are not always the big uh, great sins but sins can can be laziness it will uh, make us very lazy and, or it will make us have bad thoughts about our friends about our parents about our teachers 
and um, evil thoughts will creep in the heart that this is bad although it's like um, it's not bad thing like you can it will uh, teach you that your parents are not good they are telling you to uh, wake up uh, uh, so early in the morning and read salah so your parents are not so he will creep into our heart and he will try to whisper so whenever the bad thoughts comes into your heart whenever bad thoughts comes in your mind what will you do you will read surah what will you do we will remember you will read surah yes so allah taala has taught allah taala has taught us this surah that say this this dua allah taala has told us that whenever you you want protection from shaitan read this dua sometimes you know um he will a shaitan will say that no don't go now you are feeling very tired don't go and don't read your salah so he will make you lazy and sometimes he will say that your teachers are not good sometimes he will say your parents are not good sometimes he will bring in evil thoughts and um, then uh, you know what to do you have to read surah annas because this is a dua for protection from shaitan and the evil whisperers understood whenever you go to bed you should read this surah when rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to uh, sleep before sleeping he used to read surah ikhlas yani qul huwallahu akbar he used to read surah al falaq surah an nas and then he would blow onto his palm and uh, he would blow such that little bit of saliva also reach the palm and then he would wipe his head face and front part of the body with his hands and he would read uh, surah falaq surah nas and surah ikhlas three times before going to bed have you understood this yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am and surah uh, falaq is also for protection we will read it in the next class and about surah an nas it is said that uh, when you when someone reads uh, surah an nas and surah al falaq he is protected from the evil of the envious people also so there are sometimes you know there is hasad there is envy amongst the people people do not like that you get so many good things so you have uh, sometimes you have very nice things and people will think that why should he have all the nice things and then they will envy and then get, that can reduce your blessing so when you read this surah it protects from the envy of the people understood yes ma'am yes and there are people there are people who do evil uh, they are they cast evil eye on on uh, on us they think that they, these people have so many blessings and they should not have these blessings they cast evil eye some people do magic so fit for all of this allah subhanahu wa taala has sent protection he has sent us with this sura which is very very powerful it is very short sura we can learn all we can learn this sura we read this sura in our salah and you know this sura is very powerful sura and it will protect us so now you know the meaning of this sura so whenever now you, you read this sura try to tr recall the translation so does anyone wants to recite this sura yes ma'am who will recite how can i do ali yes, will recite okay yes. let's let ali recite first bismillah ar rahman ar rahim أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس ما شاء الله very good شيزا do you want to recite with the translation شمانا will recite okay and she Do you want to recite with translation? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's uh, Shumana recite, and after that you would recite with your trans with translation. Okay, Shumana, recite. A'uzu billahi min al-shaytan al-wajim. Bismillahi wa-mani wa-hiim. Kulauza bin nas, malik nas, ilahi nas, min shal waswas al-khan nas, al-lazi waswas fi sidur nas. من الجنة والناس ما شاء الله نشزا 
try to recite uh, with translation so let me put the uh, translation here okay a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas say i seek refuge in the lord of mankind malikin nas the king of mankind ilahin nas the god of mankind Amin shawil waswas al khannas from the evil of the whisper the one who withdraws allazi waswas fi sudurin nas the one who whispers in the breasts of mankind min al jinnati wan nas from the jinn and mankind okay so regarding this surah there is one more thing i want to say about it about this that shaitan you know he is the thief of man's belief and he will always try to cast evil thought in the mind of people especially in the mind of children small children like all of you so the, the he will plague one with questioning concerning allah subhanahu wa taala so he will tell that mm, uh, who built this who built that and then he will make you ask so many question and then he will say who made allah subhanahu wa taala how did allah subhanahu wa taala come so he will he will bring the questions like this and he will make man like question things like that then we know what we should we should say to him we should say that we should say that go away shaitan you are yourself a disbeliever why are you so concerned about my belief and if one if tries to entertain the shaitan's question and then he will try to think what shaitan has taught, told and all that then again he will fall into disbelief he will also become disbeliever day by day like if he constantly entertains the questions like this then uh, it will affect his belief so whenever questions like this comes that who made allah subhanahu wa taala allah made the river allah made the sun allah made the sky the shaitan will bring a question who made allah subhanahu wa taala so when the question like this comes in the heart then you understand that this is a type of question which shaitan is telling you she shaitan is putting the waswasa in your heart to ask questions like this and then you should say a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem what what will you say what will you say any question and then after saying this that look at uh, left side and then spit thrice do you know what is spitting spitting means like uh, when you uh, spit a little bit of saliva comes out thukna jisse hum hindi mein kehte hain thukna theek hai when you read a'udhu billah look at the left side and spit three times when you do that shaitan will run away it will demoralize shaitan he will be degraded he will feel like oh no i don't have any place here now i have to run away and then he will run away understood yes yes ma'am yeah. hmm so you know the the people or the shaitan they will not be able to convince a muslim that don't worship allah subhanahu wa taala because we have we have so strong in our belief we know that allah subhanahu wa taala is our god and allah subhanahu wa taala has created us and we will return to allah subhanahu wa taala there is a jannah and there is a jahannam where we will live ever after we will live there forever so we know all this so shaitan when he will uh, come to a muslim and he will say that don't say that allah taala is your god we will never so say we will never do that then what shaitan tries he tries to make the people sin he tries to make the people uh, do bad things things which is not liked by allah subhanahu wa taala so that slowly slowly he is able to have a control on him understood yes ma'am yes so what will you do when you realize that this is an evil whisper when you realize that this is a bad thought that is coming in my mind this is an evil whisper then what will you do say surah al nas or say a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem yes or surah falaq yes surah falaq and surah nas is for protection and whenever evil thoughts evil questions comes in your mind then what you will do then some evil questions is coming like who made allah subhanahu wa taala yes you will say ta'awuz you will say a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem look at your left side turn to left and spit thrice 
okay and not very much like little bit of spitting like small small like uh, uh, spit, spit should come out so you have to look at the left and spit thrice and read ta'awuz when you do that then shaitan is degraded he is very like uh, you have made him very uh, like he is you have uh, he has lost his power and then he has to run away when you do this understood yes ma'am yes yeah. so this is taught to us by rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam this this way is the best way to terminate the discussion which satan inspires in our heart so satan is inspiring us with bad thoughts and bad things then just look at the left read ta'awuz and then speak thrice Okay, and Shaitan is always trying. Remember this: He is always trying to deviate us from the straight path. Now we read Surah Al-Fatihah. We are asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for guidance. We are asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to guide us to the straight path. And what is the obstacle in our straight path? Shaitan. Shaitan will always try to mislead you. He will always try to uh, make you go away from the straight path. All right. So, anyone else wants to recite Surah An Nas? Teacher Umar wants to. Umar, Umar, okay, Umar. Recite Surah An Nas. <laughs> Mashallah, very good. Okay, and uh, let me tell you one about uh, um, Surah Nas and about one event. So there was a sahab, uh, Sahabi, Sayyidina Ukba bin Amir uh, Radi Allahu Anhu. He said that once he was traveling with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and an extremely strong wind suddenly started blowing. So suddenly, what happened? Very strong wind started to blow, and the sky became very dark. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam started seeking Allah's protection by reciting Surah Falak and Surah Nas. He then told Sayyidina Uqba bin Amir radhi alhana that one should always seek Allah's protection by reciting these two surah because there is nothing as effective as these two surah for seeking seeking Allah's protection. So whenever you fear about anything and whenever you want the help of Allah subhanahu wa taala, you want the protection of Allah subhanahu wa taala. What will you do? You will read Surah Al Falak and Surah An Nas. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes. And there's another incident that Sayyidina Abdullah um, bin... Okay. This, um, who was telling? How's it going? How's it going? Shaitan Wajim. And I'm talking about Surah Falak and Surah Nas. Falak is Kulaud bin Abdul Falak. And Surah Nas is... Which is Surah Nas? Surah. Yes, that we read now. Okay. Now let, let us read about one more incident. The, uh, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Khubayb radhi alhana, he said that it was raining one night. It was raining one night and the sky became very dark. Concerned about the safety of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Sahaba. Who are the Sahaba? The companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Who are the Sahaba? Ali? Companions of Rasulullah. Companions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No. The companions of Rasulullah sallallahu wa sallam. Who are Sahaba? The companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes. Yeah, so one, one night, it was raining. The sky became very dark. And the, the companions of Rasulullah, the Sahaba Ikram, they loved Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam very much. So they were concerned about the safety of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So they came out of their house and then they start, they began to search for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
so when they found rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to them recite now the sahaba ikram asks ya rasulullah what should we recite so abdullah ibn khubayb he was a sahabi he asked to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that ya uh, rasulullah what should we recite rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said recite qul huwa allahu ahad surah ikhlas qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq surah falaq and qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas surah nas thrice every morning and evening by doing this you will be protected against everything you need protection from so when you read these three surah three times every morning and every in evening then you will be protected against everything you need protection from isn't this beautiful allah taala has blessed us with this surah mashallah alhamdulillah la hawla wala quwwata illa billah see alhamdulillah because allah taala has given us this such a beautiful surah alhamdulillah yes and with this surah we can ask allah's protection and allah taala will protect us okay so after this class try to revise surah al fatiha uh, surah fatiha and surah nas and those who are registered they will be able to see that there is a quiz in week 3 you will see that there is a quiz and try to attempt that quiz without seeing first uh, revise your surah and then you attempt the surah okay that is a quiz and there will be another quiz next week of surah fatiha and surah nas only uh, i will ask the translation of the surah so you should be able to uh, re remember the translation of the verses like if i say alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin so you should know that what does this aya means okay so when you do all the all these two quizzes you will get a certificate that you have completed the tafsir of this surah has everyone understood yes ma'am okay alhamdulillah so inshallah see you next week jazakallah khair ma'am wonderful class basic of islam right yes basic of islam those who are in basics of islam um the class will be after half an hour so do you want to do the class next like now are you not tired yeah. i want to um shumana is there and we don't have shazia today shazia so the class timing is after half an hour the basics okay. of islam Okay, so uh, we will basics of Islam uh, uh, after half an hour, inshallah. Okay, so see those who are in basics of Islam, they can join that class. Okay, Assalamu alaikum, everyone. See you in the next class, and please revise and always remember when you read the surah, try to remember the meaning. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye.